Hello, and once again, welcome to Peter's Marine Service. I'm your host, Ted, and today we'd like to show you a 2003 Sea Ray 245 Weekender. This boat's about 26 feet long overall, including the swim platform, which will give us tons of room inside the cabin, lots of space in the cockpit, plenty of opportunity for a good weekend out on the water. What's nice about this boat is the depth. Lots of boat here. So whether you're boating in the bay, in a big lake, or out on the ocean, you have plenty of boat here to handle the rougher water. This particular boat's in nice shape, both on the deck and on the hull sides, save for a couple of uh, minor little things. Here this just happens to be in the tape. We have a couple of scratches in the tape itself. Really nothing noteworthy to really speak of going down the side of the boat. This boat's on a galvanized roller trailer, so loading and unloading in tidal water would be very nice and easy. It's already bottom painted, as I said, so if you wanted to keep the boat in the water, you're all set to go. As you can see here, the bolt-on swim platform adds that extra length to the back of the boat. What's nice about this is your out is completely up underneath the back of the platform. And you can see here also, the out drive is freshly painted, brand new anodes on the bottom as well. So this boat's ready to go. The swim platform has a nice ladder that deploys deeply down into the water. So for getting in and out of the, the water back onto the boat, it's very simple. Hop right up, grab handles, and up you go. Here, this gives a better representation of the size of this swim platform here. What's nice about this, if you're docking it in a slip, very easy to step onto the platform, or for activities out on the water also. Nice place to be. Ski tow eye is located right here as well for pulling tubers, skiers, or what have you. Another nice feature in the back here, even on a boat this size, plenty of storage. Here we have some nice uh, straps to hold up your dock lines. Plenty of depth all the way back down inside here. So for putting maybe extra fenders or some other things you want to take along, you can certainly do that. And your, uh, there's also a, a shower here as well that comes out. Nice walk-through door, but you can walk into the cockpit area. Notice the size of that, but you can also block off. So if you have children that are going to come aboard, you can feel secure you can keep them in the cockpit. What's nice about the space in this boat is, well, the space in this boat. You have plenty of room inside here. Notice the amount of space that we have. Again, uh, 26 feet overall gives us a lot of opportunity for a lot of room inside the cockpit. Uh, also, wide gunnels that are here as well. Makes it easy for getting off the side of the boat, should you be docked up. But also, like the previous owner did here, mounted a couple of rod holders. This boat's great for doing some fishing. You have an extra rod holder, uh, space for rod holders here to put your poles up. The carpet is a snap in Berber. We can take that out if we're going to really do some fishing. Leave the carpet back at the dock. Then when we're all done, we can hose it all out when we're finished. Uh, this particular boat has got tons of storage. Inside here, just to give you an idea of the space, this boat was modeled off of the 240 Sundancer of the same year, but what's different compared to the Sundancer, instead of a mid-cabin, we've got tons of storage room down here. This goes far to both sides, so anything you want to take along, well, you can find a home for it. If you did want to fish out of the boat, heck, put a fish box down there with lots of ice. Now you can put your catch down in there. Notice the back-to-back -back seat. This opens up and forms a sun lounger here as well, but it also adds some extra seating inside the boat. In the back of the boat, we have a bench seat that goes completely across. These cushions fill in the section where the door was. And the same thing goes for this side as well. Heck, if we take that out, now we can get all the way to the back of the boat. So if we are doing some fishing, we can easily gaff our catch or access to our cleats back here as well. Onboard cooler with dedicated storage goes right there. The helm seat's nice and big. You can see the amount of leg room that we have here. Very comfortable driving position. The dashboard is nice and tall. I can see all my gauges. Windshield's nice and high all the way around. Steering wheel can tilt so I can get comfortable behind the helm. Flip up riser also gives me the added ability to be able to sit up tall. 
uh, if it's a congested traffic area or if I want to see up and over the windshield, this allows me to do that. Compass up here as well. Uh, what's nice about what's nice about th these boats here too is the doorway or companionway that goes up onto the deck. Notice how easily that slides with the touch of a finger here. This is also your steps, which allow you then to go up and through the windshield. You can see how easy it is to get up onto the deck of the boat. And truthfully, up there as well is the anchor locker. It is located up there too. But you can see you can easily climb in and out of the, off the deck of the boat. Cabin. You can notice here how we step down in. Plenty of room. Once inside here, I got plenty of headroom in here. Nice big V berth area in the cabin. There are cushions that fill in, and those cushions are located here. The table underneath comes out, the cushions fill in, and then we have a full V berth. Perfect for two to overnight. Two people can easily lay here then side by side. Plenty of room. Condition inside the boat, very good. You don't see any don't see any staining, you don't see any uh, fabrics all in great shape. Um, looks very good. It certainly has not been used very hard at all. There's also a full stand-up closet inside here. Many of the pictures that I have online I show with the cockpit table. That stores, in, uh, stores inside here, uh, out of the way. The galley that we have. Pressure water system gives us a sink here with faucet. Butane stove. Works much like a gas stove at home. And tons of storage. Anything you want to take along galley-wise, it can all fit inside here. You've got plenty of room to put stuff. Plus some extra room up in, in this area of the, the galley as well. Uh, oh, also, along the sides here, very deep and spacious all along. So if you want to take some other things, uh, beach towels and whatnot, plenty of room to put those things in here. The head compartment is a porta potty Plenty of room in there, and uh, you can easily stand up inside there as well. But everything looks very clean, very well maintained. That's the uh, that's a 245 Weekender, 2003. Very nice shape. I encourage you to take a pic look at the pictures that we have online also, because I have some with the canvas that's up. This boat's equipped with full canvas enclosures, front Isinglass, side curtains, aft curtain. I put them up on this boat to take the picture, and frankly, I don't think they were ever really used more than a couple times. Everything is in outstanding condition. Incidentally, that was the bag that you saw inside the storage compartment in the floor. My name is Ted. Thanks for watching. It was a pleasure showing you this boat. If you want to look at it in person, please give us a call. We can make that arrangement. Once again, thank you.